Mary Mead and welcome. Welcome to the realms of mysticism, the occult, and magic, where your possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron and discover the knowledge you seek. Gather round the cauldron and even stay for a spell. Brightest blessings to you. Merry meet Pisces and welcome to the Witch's Cauldron. This is Paula with your January 2023 tarot reading. I am over here. We have your card from the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle. You are ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. And I am going to pull a card from the Moonology deck. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Woohoo. That sounds kind of interesting. So let's see. From the Moonology Manifestation deck, we have Full moon in Capricorn, take a reality check. Maybe something's going to say, you know. And now the tarot spread that I use for my monthly readings is the 13 moons spread. Uh, it was taught to me by the head high priest of my trad when I was in training all those many years ago. And it's based on the pentagram. And we have water dealing with your emotions, your relationships, and your dreams. Uh, fire dealing with sexual drive. Uh, also, passion drive and determination. And I mean passion like your passion for things. Not necessarily for people, but it can be people. Over here in Earth, that is your money, career, finances, your house, your home, material goods that you need to support yourself and your family. And up in air, this is learning and gaining knowledge, wisdom, creativity, and your ability to communicate effectively both writing, in writing and verbally. Up at the top in spirit, we have your connection to the divine, to source, to that creator energy. Then the final three cards will be Ish, the universe wants you to know. So let's get this started. I've already pre-shuffled the deck and I'm just getting a sign. Okay, let's get this started. We have the seven of pentacles in the upright. You may see progress in a relationship you've been in. It may be like, you know, getting a little more serious. And you may be taking a very long-term view with this relationship. Having, you, you're seeing good results. This is, you know, reward, hard work, reward, results. Okay, long-term success. the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You may be kind of keeping things to yourself. You could be feeling kind of moody and withdrawn and feeling insecure. You don't want to come across as being needy and shallow. That's one thing you need to be very, very um, careful about and not having another relationship that has like codependent um let's say you have a really kind of codependent relationship with a sibling or a parent um that could be like trying to undermine or sabotage your relationships with others just be aware of that um ten of swords you may find out about this betrayal where somebody was trying to undercut or get you to break up or cut someone else out of your life and just focus solely on them. 
Uh, and you may be feeling a little bit confused about things like that. But there is a relationship with a lot of really stable, long-term potential energy there. And I think there's just junk going around um, on the periphery that's trying to convince you that this isn't a good thing um, for you. But you're the only one that can make that decision. You're the only one that can say, put a fork in me, I'm done. Down here in fire. Manifestation, action, being self-confident, um, and it's also taking inspired action, referring back to that passion and that drive and that energy to get you up and get you going. You're manifesting something. I don't know if you've manifested the stable relationship because stuff is like going on here and you just feel like you need to get away. The star in reverse. This is a card of self-doubt and almost like feeling disconnected and having crushed dreams. Um, remember this toxic codependency I told you to stay away from? That could be like just like sucking the your get up and go. It's like sucking up the your will to get up and go and do anything. And the King of Swords. This may be somebody who's really manipulative, emotionally manipulative, and um, a misuse of power. But it's also you seeking your inner truth. All right? The King of Swords will cut through the BS to show you the truth. And if you are passionate about finding out the truth, then you will find it out. And you have to be prepared to take action based on what it is that you find out. Because here's, you know, some deceptive energy. You're manifesting good stuff, but there's somebody trying to, like, you know, sabotage things along the way. This may be a very manipulative, um, ruthless person. It can also be relating back to, you know, an absent father or the absence of a father um, presence in your life that may be kind of feeding into your doubts and fears about somebody. Over here in your finances and your career, um, the Page of Swords is a new way of gaining a little bit of inspiration about your money, about your what it is that makes you happy in your the context of work and your home environment. May you have be thinking really small. Uh, you may be thinking, you know, I need $10 when you need manifest $10 and you really need $1,000. Don't think small when it comes to your finances. Be realistic, but, you know, try and figure out a plan. Um, and you may be regretting an opportunity that you turned down because of outside influence of somebody else. Paying attention to the details, mastering, being the master of your own story, okay? And mastery leads to financial security, okay? Because once you man master it, then the next card is, you know, the nine of pentacles, which is being financially independent through means of hard work, okay? I need one more here. The moon, there may be somebody, like I said, really trying to undermine you with regard to your finances, your home, your security, your long-term security. Up in air, thoughts, creativity. This is almost like grief, a loss. Um, disappointments, being very pessimistic and sad and lonely and allowing those thoughts to kind of um, feed into this self-doubt. And, you know, it's time for your reality check. Because you may, you know, you may be focused on the three cups that are spilled over, but you're not seeing the two that are behind you 
supporting you. And don't cut off your support system because you're all up in your head. But up here, remember, a fiery climax approaches. Things are coming to a head. Something's going to have to be done. You need that reality check. You need that kick in the ass from the universe. The Hierophant. This is higher learning, okay? You may want to take up teaching. You may want to take up creative writing. It's having the wisdom to realize, you know what? I effed up. I made bad decisions, but you can learn from those mistakes and go on and come up with a plan for long-term success. You may be confused by having a lot of distractions going on around you. Don't look at what I'm doing over here. Um, focus on this shit over here instead, okay? This could be that, you know, codependent, toxic kind of nonsense that I was talking about earlier trying to distract you from what it is that will really bring you financial success and happiness in general. Uh, let's go on. They're telling me move on to spirit. The first card we have is the lovers in reverse. This is disharmony and being tempted. You, this, you may be ending one, subs, ending one situation and starting another one with somebody else and this is you know the previous relationship could have left you feeling really distant from your uh, connection to a higher power your connection to that ability to manifest with universal energy because when you're disconnected from source and disconnected from that universal energy you're not going to get a lot accomplished and you're going to feel very um, empty on the inside. You need to take care of yourself. The King of Cups in the upright, having, being emotionally balanced, having compassion, um, creativity and wisdom will get you connected back to that manifestation in that divine creative energy. There may have been some big arguments over your spiritual path and your connection to a higher power. Could be somebody has a complete misalignment of values with you with regard to spirituality and all that goes with it. And you may be really struggling to resolve, um, you know, differences in values. And um, it's also a card of divorce and separation and conflict that ends up to the ending of a relationship. So, you may have been shook by a divorce or the relationship ending. You're starting to get back on, you know, firm ground here. And then somebody's trying to come back in and undermine everything that they see you achieving without them. Three, from the universe, we have the justice in reverse. This is, okay, I'm, we just had the divorce card. This could be delays and things not going your way in court. Because of some shady effing stuff going on. The Five of Swords in the upright. And the Queen of Wands. Having determination to see it through. To be independent. The Queen of Wands is beholden to no one. Alright. Um, and she does not suffer jerks and jackasses very much at all. And she has the confidence to bring things to a fiery re resolution. If you need to, uh, quote-unquote, man up or, quote-unquote, pull up your big girl panties and really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, you need to do it or else you're going to lose your ass in the long run. Let me get one more. Yeah, me, 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 mine, 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 greed, somebody really greedy and materialistic. I don't know if this is you or if this is the other party. If it is you, you need to have a balanced approach um, with regard to what transpires, who gets what, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I'm seeing some real interference from external noise trying to derail a relationship that 
has a really steady ground and steady footing for you. So don't give up your control of your own destiny, but fiery climax and taking a reality check. What is it? Are you being too stubborn to see things through? Are you being your own worst enemy? Are you holding on to junk you could just let go of very, very easily? And with that, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and consider becoming a member of our Cauldron Coven here on YouTube. As I always say, Pisces, merry we did meet, merry we will part until we merry meet again. Be well and walk in love and light, Pisces. Bye.